Okay, here we are in post-trib moment number six, and here you're going to see some of Steve Anderson's satanic replacement theology. This is held, the same beliefs are held by the Roman Catholic Church. These are not the beliefs of a Bible-believing Christian. This is satanic heresy that you're going to see right here. Now, a lot of times people will attack the clear rapture passage in Matthew 24 that tells us that the rapture comes after the tribulation. Okay, we already covered this in the last couple videos there. Uh, the rapture is not in Matthew chapter 24. He's a liar. Okay, look at the two. Compare the two. The sun, the moon, the stars, you know, the sun and moon are darkened. The stars fall from heaven in Matthew 24. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 51 says that it's in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. It's not the same thing. The dead in Christ come up first in 1 Corinthians 15 and 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. There's no dead in Christ coming up in Matthew chapter 24, Mark 13, Luke 21. That's not there. Okay? He's a liar. It's not a clear rapture passage. They'll try to attack it by saying, well, when the Bible talks about Jesus coming in the clouds and the trumpet sounding and him gathering together his elect, they'll say, well, the elect there, that's not believers. That's talking about the Jews. Now, okay, now here he's going to start to attack the Jews, the nation of Israel. But let me just show you real quick here who the elect really are in that time of Jacob's trouble, which is actually what it's called, by the way. Okay, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7 calls it the time of Jacob's trouble. Then nowhere in the Bible does it actually say the great tribulation. There shall be great tribulation. You know, there shall be a time of tribulation. You know, but it never says the great tribulation. Uh, but, you know, that's how he'll deceive people. But here you have Revelation chapter 7, verses 1 through uh, 8 there. You have the 12 um, tribes listed here and 144,000. Okay, these are the elect that the passage is talking about. All right. And uh, let's go to Romans chapter 11 look here I say then hath God cast away his people God forbid for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin okay God hath not cast away his people which he foreknew alright Steve Anderson's a liar all right, he he will not deal with these scriptures here. Now look here at verse 25, Romans chapter 11, verse 24. I'm sorry, 25. For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye sh ye should be wise in your own conceits, like Steve Anderson, thinking that we've you know the Gentiles have replaced, you know, the nation of Israel. Nonsense. That blindness in part, in part, is happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles become in. And so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written. There shall come out of Zion the deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Okay? For this is my covenant unto them, when I shall take away their sins. As concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sakes, but as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sakes. Steve Anderson won't deal with these passages here. He will not deal with these verses. He hates the Jews. He thinks that he has replaced them. That is satanic. Yes, the Jews are there in unbelief right now. That's the purpose for the time of Jacob's trouble. And by the way, let me show you something else here. You say, well, they've rejected Jesus Christ. They, you know, how could they be saved if they, you know, they're going to be deceived and all this stuff? Oh, really? Look at this. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and threescore days clothed in sackcloth. What's going on there? You have the two witnesses here, which are Moses and Elijah. And I've done other studies on that. Moses and Elijah come back during that time of Jacob's trouble, and they preach to the Jewish people. And the elect that are sealed by God in that time of Jacob's trouble also are going around and preaching. Okay? Steve Anderson has no idea what he's talking about. He's just trying to steal promises from the Jewish people. But let's continue here. 1 
first of all, all you have to do to figure out that that's false is to just look up every time the word elect is used in the Bible. And you'll see it's always talking about believers. Now, is he right? Yeah. There are times when it talks about Christians. There are times it talks about, you know, Jews in the time of Jacob's trouble. But see, he won't talk about that. The verses I just showed you. And over and over again, he refers specifically to Gentiles, to the Thessalonians, to, to all manner of Gentiles as the elect. He tells us that there's neither Jew nor Gentile in Christ and that we are the elect. And uh, I would strongly encourage you, if you haven't done so, to look up every mention of the term elect. And you'll see it's talking about believers. Okay, see again. Now, is that right for the church age? Yeah, yeah. There's neither Jew nor Gentile in the body of Christ. But that doesn't mean in the time of Jacob's trouble. In the time of Jacob's trouble, the nation of Israel comes back in again. Look here in, Re in Romans chapter 11. I'm sorry, we're in Revelation. Let me go back to Romans chapter 11. There we go. Romans chapter 11. Okay. Blindness in part has happened to Israel. That's right now. Until the fullness of the Gentiles become in so all Israel shall be saved. You see? We're not talking about Christians in the time of Jacob's trouble. We're talking about Israel. And the fullness of the Gentiles become in. That's a reference to right now. When the church age ends, God no longer is going to deal with the Gentiles. Okay? He's going back to Israel. I'm real sorry for those of you who hate the Jewish people. But, just to show you in this exact chapter how the elect cannot be referring to the Jews, if we just back up a few verses in, uh, in Matthew 24 itself, it says in verse 24, For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall sow great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Now, what the liar will do here is, he goes on and he says, well, see, the Jews don't accept Jesus Christ, so right now they don't accept him, so therefore that proves that they aren't the elect. See, what, the guy's just a total liar, just a total stinking liar. I can't even stand to watch this guy very much. It's just, ugh, it's disgusting. Okay, oh, well, Matthew chapter 24, you know, it's, it's clearly speaking to Jews and Gentiles. Oh, really? Let's go here one more time. All right. Down here in verse 20, talks about that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. What are Christians doing? Worship, or, you know, worshiping on the Sabbath day, not being allowed to work on the Sabbath day. It's talking to Jews. How about, here's a good one. Uh, then let them which be in Judea. Uh, who's it talking about? Oh, a uh, Christian pastor uh, that calls himself a Baptist pastor that lives in Arizona. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I, maybe he lives in Judea, Arizona. I mean, give me a break. What a bunch of nonsense. So the Bible talks about that in the end times there will be false prophets and false Christs that are going to be so convincing that deny it the Father and the Son. And so therefore, those who deny that Jesus Christ is the Messiah, those who deny that Jesus is the Christ, the Bible says they are antichrist. You see, in order to believe that Jesus is not the Christ, you have to believe that there is a Christ. The word Christ means Messiah. You have to believe that there is a Christ and that that Christ is not Jesus. Well, who fits that bill? The Jews believe that the Messiah is still coming. Yes, they are in error, just like it says in Romans chapter 11. Okay, one more time. Romans chapter 11. Hath God cast away his people? God forbid, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. God's not done with the Jews. Okay? Now look down here. As concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sakes, but as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sakes. Again, this little anti-Semitic nut here, this little false prophet, is deceiving you. Matthew chapter 24 is not for the body of Christ. 